worshipped should be reserved to the worship of God. Owing to the fact that some individuals overly exalt the importance of money, power, status and even people, they choose to worship the wrong object instead of God. A scholar observes that the Bible nowhere provides a definition of worship. Although it's difficult to give a comprehensive definition of worship, according to Revelation 4, 9 through 11, the object of worship is the everlasting creator. And the reason to worship is because God alone is worthy to receive worship. Let's ponder the words of Revelation. And whenever the li living creatures Give glory and honor and thanks to him who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever. The twenty-four elders fall down before him who is seated on the throne and worshiped him who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Let's pose a question to God. Can you teach me how to improve to worship you? Let's practice what you learned. On Saturday night, ask God to bless you and your congregation, so that you all can have a wonderful worship experience tomorrow. Let's proclaim to others about your experiential knowledge. Share your corporate worship experience with a church goer.